you know, where were you and um, why did you feel compelled to, um, you know, a film this Swift driver? Uh, well, I was in Covington, Virginia. There's the loves there. I, I think it's a fairly new loves because even the uh, the payment was kind of new. So, uh, but yeah, I was there coming to Virginia at the loves, and the Swift driver was blocking the casket. I don't know how long he'd been there because I had just gone up, opened my curtains, and there was Swift. And so I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna throw some trash. <laughs> you know, let's throw it past this truck. I didn't see no Swift driver in there. Truck was off, lights were on, and uh, soldiers there. Then you know what? Let me start recording. You know, so record them and put them put them on Pear Riders channel, or send the video to him. You know? Right. And uh, so yeah. And wh why did enough. you feel like you wanted to do that? Was it for uh, educational reasons, or just to let drivers know, or what was it? Yeah, yeah, it's more for education uh, purposes because uh, it's a lot of cap going on over there. A lot of cap going on over there. Let's get into it. Welcome to the Lockout Man Podcast Show. What's going on, everybody? And before we jump into this video right here of my man Asian Mai talking to this talking to this one dude about why he was filming a, a Swift driver on the cat scale. Let me just jump in and just say this right quick. All right, look, I'm giving my humble reaction my opinion to this conversation between him and asia my because i i feel that there's a lot of cap going on right now all right everybody know asia my is 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 all about helping truckers all about showing uh the positive side of trucking and all like that much respect to asian my shout out to his channel definitely go over there and 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 check out his channel he got a lot about the news he does the he does the same thing i do interview drivers and all that other good stuff but uh this this right here just kind of rubbed me the wrong way i'm sorry i am so sorry this right here just rubs me the wrong way Asian Mai asked this gentleman, yo, what was the reason why you felt compelled to record a Swift driver blocking the cat scale? You know, where were you and um, why did you feel compelled to, um, you know, film this Swift driver? And Asian said, was it because that you was doing it for educational purposes? And this dude turned around and said, well, yeah, yeah, it was for educational purposes. So yeah, and wh why did enough. you feel like you wanted to do that? Was it for uh, educational reasons or just to let drivers know or what was it? Yeah, yeah, it's more for education uh, purposes because. Uh... No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't, my dude. Number one, you wouldn't even know if it was a if it was a swift driver on the cat scale if you quote unquote hadn't woke up and opened up your curtains to see if there was a swift driver on a cat scale that's number one let's just get that out the way but number two you decided to break out your camera and record the swift driver because it was a swift driver that's why. Be honest, bro. Don't come on this man's channel and cap and turn around and be like, oh, well, it's only for uh, educational purpose. No, it wasn't no education about that. Where was the education at, bro? Yeah, and wh why did enough. you feel like you wanted to do that? Was it for uh, educational reasons or just to let drivers know or what was it? Yeah, yeah, it's more for education uh, purposes. Cause, uh Tell me, where was the education at? No, you record it. You thought it was funny. You record it because it was Swift on the cat scale doing something that Swift does. And then you sent it to another channel. You ain't put it up on your channel and say, hey, this is for educational purposes only. No, you didn't. You know, so record them and put them, put them on Pear Riders channel or send the video to him. You gave it to another channel to expose Swift drivers. 
What if it was? What if it wasn't a Swift driver? What if it was a Snyder driver? What if it was a U.S. Express driver? What if it was anybody else driver? He wasn't even blocking you, bro. You was parked, and you took it upon yourself to get out of your truck with your camera in hand to go over there and record the Swift driver. Swift driver was blocking the casket. I don't know how long he'd been there because I had just gone up, opened my curtains, and there was Swift. Being gone from his truck, and then what you gonna do? Turn around? Oh, well, you can't park in the you you can't park on the casket. Side note. Side note. It is truckers etiquette to move off the scale, move out of the out of the uh, out of the fuel island. It is truckers etiquette not to block other truckers because yes, we are busy. We are we we lightweight in a hurry and we don't want to be held up for any reason. We go in, get our stuff, get out and go. And we get very upset when another driver take it upon himself just to make us late for whatever case they may be. All right? Truckers etiquette in the fuel island, please. All right? But for this driver to turn around and say, oh, well, I did this for, you know, educational purposes. There wasn't no education in that, bruh. Yeah, and wh why did enough. you feel like you wanted to do that? Was it for uh, educational reasons or just to let drivers know or what was it? Yeah, yeah, it's more for education uh, purposes because. Uh it wasn't no education in that, man. And I'm just here to say that, yeah, it, it rubbed me the wrong way by you even saying that. By you even coming on this man's channel, this man's channel that shows positivity, education, you know, the do's and don'ts and everything. For you to come on here and turn around and say, yeah, I did that for educational purposes. No, bro, no, you didn't. You capping. You capping. You did it. You sent it to another channel to expose the young man. You did it because it was swift. You did it just to make him, to, to, to mock him because that's what you was doing when the young man came back to his truck. He went to get the food, the casket, the seat, and everything. And, and one other thing before we get up out of here, y'all. What, what is this dude? What what are you, the cat scale, the loves police? Was you was you a security guard for loves? What was the point of you even going over there bothering that man? That man wasn't even bothering you. Look at this everybody. Swift blocked in the cat, cat scale. He can he can uh, park over here, plenty of parking over there, blocking the cat scale. Welcome. Dude, you can't be doing this. You can't be blocking the cat scale. Whether there's somebody back there or not. You was parked. There was nobody behind him. So technically he wasn't blocking anybody. You you even said yourself that you didn't even know how long he was in there for. And the Swift driver was blocking the cat scale. I don't know how long he'd been there because I had just gone up. Over he could have went in there, jumped out, went in, got his ticket and came back out. You got to understand that some of these new drivers, of course, don't know the etiquette yet. That's all. Maybe he did that. He he thought to himself like, "Oh, okay, I could just park here, run in, grab my, grab my, uh, grab my uh, scale receipt, hurry up back up because it wasn't nobody out there." Same thing with the drivers in the fuel islands. They probably might not know no better. But who are you? to run up on this cat, camera rolling, and try to and, and, and try to make him look bad than try to make him look bad than what he already is. That's what you guys like to do. I'm surprised you didn't send the video to bonehead truckers. Educational purposes. Come on, stop with the cap. So, yeah, and wh why did enough. you feel like you wanted to do that? Was it for uh, educational reasons or just to let drivers know, or what was it? Yeah, yeah, it's more for education uh, purposes. Cause uh... stop with the cap, all right?
Shout out to the subscriber that sent me this video and asked me to go ahead and react on it. This dude right here, all cap. All right, that's all I have to say. I'm done. If you guys have any videos or anything you want me to look at or talk about or or you just want to talk to your boy, hit me up, 216-600-2090. That's what's up. And let, me, and, and let me set the record straight on this particular video. This particular video is not going after Asian Mai. Asian Mai is my guy. You know what I'm saying? I mess with Asian Mai. I just have a I just felt I felt rubbed the wrong way of his guest that was on the channel. All right? All right, that's it. I'm done. You guys leave some comments in the comments below what you guys actually think. And uh and get back at me, man. Get back at me. Also, also, yo, help a brother out. Give me the HBO special. Help a brother out special by hitting that thank you button on the video all right peace only one of the greatest that is a lawyer that is a promise always wanted to be famous just being real